Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Hermitcraft. Last time we worked on these giant towering archways, which house pathways on top of them. And today we're going to continue to work on these things. We have portions of two towers completed, although they're not truly completed. As you can see, there's a big hole in the middle of these, so they're actually not really that close to being done on the top either. So quite a bit of work to do on these two towers, and we have two more towers, one there and one there still to go. So we're going to get working on these today, so let's go ahead and get started. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Nightmare Project. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It's not that bad, but uh, I keep on finding inconsistencies between one side and the other side. Check it out. Like right here, check this out. One block gap between the wall and then there's one block and then there's the lamp. But on this side, let's get back here. Uh, same spot on this structure. Wall, two blocks, and then a the lamp. So, yeah, hence the scaffolding, hence the scaffolding. It's been a journey, guys. It's been a journey, but we are just about halfway there. You can see we have the pathways up here now complete. I don't want those blocks there in case something might spawn on them. Also, never hurts to put a torch down. There we go. So, yeah, we got the pathways up here nice and wide, nice and smooth and wide, I should say. We got some half slabs on the side. We got some torches now, mostly lighting up the area, but I'm thinking maybe walls and lanterns will look better. And same on the uh, the middle of the pathways here. Uh, yeah, this one is sort of like the test pathway, basically. <laughs> That's why I don't have, like everywhere else has torches spammed, but this one, I actually tried to do the lighting properly, and I think this is all spawn-proof here, so this should, uh, this should work out for us in terms of like the aesthetic, I believe. Um, yeah, so... Also, I think maybe we might have a solution to our wall problem I was talking about last episode. Uh, basically, I didn't know where to put the wall and where to cut off this pillar. And I think right here might be a good spot. So we could basically come out one uh, portion, like one, I don't even know what to call it, one uh, buttress here. Yeah, one buttress uh, on each from each tower. And then here would be like where we have this lead into a room on the third floor. Because, I mean, there's like a ton of space here, even from here to the wall. It's like, you know, 40 blocks. And same on this side. We have a spot for another room right here. Uh, we have two on the opposite side. And, of course, with the other two towers, we will be building shortly over here, uh, right here. Uh, we will have two more rooms on each tower. So that'll be eight rooms total we can branch off into. And, of course, we could just, you know make a, a pathway 
directly off of this at some point too, like make a staircase up. That would not be difficult to do. We could definitely integrate that into the pathways here. So things are going well here, guys. Things are going very well. I think I'm going to leave the scaffolding up just because I think it looks cool at the moment. Uh, and also, I might spot more inconsistencies that I need to fix. Um, but yeah, we are basically halfway here. So we need to start on the next two towers now. And now for a brief musical interlude sung to the theme of A Whole New World. Pyramidical shapes decorated by fire I can show you the world take you wonder by wonder tell me cub when did you last check your honey farm the bamboo's gone I have no clue what happened here only half remains and who's to blame Probably is someone else but me. Yep, I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 10. I'm gonna give it a 1 out of 10. Someone just called the United Nations somewhere, and they were like, Hey, I just heard Cup Van sing. That's how bad it was. Not one, not two, but three quarters of the way done now, ladies and gentlemen. Only one pillar remains, and it's starting to come together quite nicely. The archways are looking good, the lighting is looking good. I'm looking good as always, and you too are looking good out there, dear viewer. Anyways, time now for the third and final pillar to go up, and we will connect it and hopefully then retrieve all this scaffolding, which has sort of become part of the build, which I really like, honestly. It makes it look like it's under construction, and it's kind of cool. But fourth pillar, let's do it. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it appears as if we have the entirety of this structure now completed. Uh, I did add a few... Other little details, added a couple more lamps, and I added a couple of gold blocks uh, on the top, on the underside of each structure. You can see those around the area a little bit as I zoom into different uh, archways, so to speak. Uh, so, uh, the only thing left to do now is to grab this scaffolding box and start to collect the scaffolding. And then we can see what it looks like without all the scaffolding uh, around here. But I think it looks cool with the scaffolding too. Uh, it will be a little bit darker, but let's just take all this down. See what it looks like. The scaffolding has been taken away, and we have the arches and the towers in their full glory now visible for all to see. And in case you're wondering, 20 stacks of scaffolding, roughly. At least that's what I was able to recover. Some of it might have despawned uh, in some spots or landed like on the build somewhere. Uh, but I think we got most of it. I think we got most of it. And I think it's looking cool. I think it's looking cool. It might be worthwhile to put a lamp in the very center here, potentially, if we have the uh, the space to do so. Uh, I think maybe right there by the by the lapis might be a good spot for it. Let me see if I can fit a lamp up there, and uh, we'll see what what happens. Easy money. Take a look. Got the lighting down. Got the lighting down. We got one, two. Three additional lighting up here uh, for the underside of the archway, and I like it a lot better. I like it a lot better. You can actually see what's what the design is now on the bottom portion with the gold and the lapis, and of course the uh, the redstone lamps shining through there. Very nice, very nice. But that's not all. That's not all. Oh no, we've been busy. We've been busy. Check it out. Look at where we're standing. I said during a stream on uh, Tuesday that we would basically have a pattern of some type on this platform, and check it out. We got like a snake slalom type thing, you know, you just come along, you know, just from one side right to the other, come down here, then it keeps going. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet, and it looks fantastic from above, check this out, look at this, look at this when we're flying around, look at it snaking. Look at it snaking. Very subtle, but looking very nice. Looking very nice. I love it. I love it. But that's not all. Check it out. Up here. We got some major progress up here. No more torches. All torches have been eliminated, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and yeah, we have some redstone lamps. We got a nice little structure in the middle here. And of course, we can always just hop right over this wall because we have a half slab here. So that is pretty sweet. Of course, we could also just walk right down the middle here, just like so. Uh, we also sort of built this up in the, the center here as well, on all four sides. So 
This area is looking nice. We also have all the walls down with the lanterns as well. So yeah, all this area here is spawn proof and everything. No place in this area can a mob spawn, which I'm pretty happy with. I'm glad I didn't have to put anything in the middle. Uh, and we still have uh, some... We had to do some things with, uh, with these blocks, I think. Let's see, one, two, three. Yeah, this one here, for instance. This actually has a redstone block. I'll just show you how I power these here real quick. This is actually one of the blocks, one of the redstone blocks on the... Or lamps, rather. <laughs> one of the redstone lamps, rather. Uh, which is visible from the underside. So I had to put uh, a lamp on top to basically cover that redstone block. Uh, and then a similar thing for, I believe it's these here. These I had to put, oh, it's on the other side. Had to put a torch, or a, a, rather a lever right here, just because on the underside here, right there, uh, yeah, as you can see, there is empty space below that. So can't really go lower than this block here, so we just barely made it, but it came together quite nicely came together quite nicely so yeah with that um let's go ahead and just put this back there we go so yeah guys i am very happy with how this thing has turned out this is looking sweet up here i can just see myself running around from uh from level to level and from room to room up here uh and then looking down of course onto the uh lower level below with the nice little pattern as well so that is pretty sweet that is pretty sweet and i think the underside of the arch is looking fine as well so very happy we were able to do all of that. Uh, and speaking of floor patterns, like we got this new floor pattern down here, right? Uh, but I think maybe we could try to make a floor pattern in this room of some type. It would have to be sort of a small repeating pattern. And, you know, we'd have to respect, you know, all the, the shulker boxes we have around here and everything. Um, I'm still thinking it'll probably be mostly blue, but maybe we implement some diamond blocks in here or some lapis blocks or some waterlogged stairs of some type, potentially. We'll see. Well, I tried something with the floor here, and I think I like it. I think I like it. Essentially, what I've made here is an interconnected web of smooth sandstone stairs. Uh, and then for lighting, we went with some sea lanterns. And we sort of tried to like make it like a little bit of a pattern uh, of these sea lanterns here. So we get good coverage and, you know, we don't have any dark spots anywhere. But if I boost on up here, let's get all the way up here to the third level. There we go. Yeah, look at that. It's a cool, like, interconnected, almost like a like a circuit board type thing right there. So, yeah, I think it works. I think it works. See how it looks from the second level. You know what? I think maybe, maybe instead of sea lanterns, maybe we could use something else. Maybe we could use redstone lamps or beacons or... Something of that nature. Let's see if we have... Let's see, do I have my redstone in here? Yeah. Let's see if we can do some redstone lamps. See how those look. Alright, so I think I have a decision here to make on the floor. Uh, we have some redstone lamps down. We have a beacon down over here and a sea lantern. And of these, I think the beacon and the redstone lamp are definitely better than the sea lantern. But between those two, between the redstone lamp and the beacon... I'm not exactly sure. Both of them have some pretty good characteristics, I would say. Uh, the redstone lamp brings out the color in the sandstone. and also goes well with the honey, which uh, we have light emanating from via the uh, via the glowstone underneath of it. So, yeah, that's something to consider. And then also the beacon adds a little bit more depth because the block is not the same height as the uh, interior beacon bit. Plus, the beacons, if we wanted to, we could have them give us status effects and stuff if we put a little bit of redstone down because yeah this can go actually all the way up and through the roof of the pyramid since it's just stairs on the uh, the outside of the pyramid so I'm kinda conflicted I'm kinda conflicted between the redstone lamps and the beacon but definitely not the sea lantern sea lanterns are gonna go so I think I need a few more beacons to accurately make an assessment here uh, I'm gonna go and buy I think 10 beacons from XB crafted in the shopping district and yeah, we'll compare redstone lamps and beacons. I think this yellow beacon here indicates XB's beacon shop, I want to say, a beacon stall. Uh, beacon kits, 63 diamonds each, 7 blocks. Ooh, man, that's expensive. But what do we get? We get... Okay, we get a box. Let's just take, take one out here. We get a shulker box, plus a beacon, 
all the iron needed to activate the beacon, plus an iron ingot to activate it once. Nice! Okay, seven diamond blocks. Alright, I have diamond blocks, so let's buy... Let's buy this one, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We'll buy ten, initially. Uh, so that's gonna be 70 blocks, 70 diamond blocks, so that's this many, is that right? Nope, I miscounted. There we go, 70 blocks of diamond. There we go, thank you XB. Uh, we'll just do like this. Well, it says seven on each one. There we go. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of diamonds. Okay. Our extra beacons are now placed down. And after looking at this for several minutes, I can definitively say this didn't help. <laughs> this, this didn't help at all. I'm still on the fence a little bit. But I think if we get down here, all right, let's take a look at this. So here are the beacons from the ground level. Because this is where we're going to be viewing it a lot of the time. Versus the view of the redstone lamps. I think the redstone lamps take it just barely. Just barely. Yeah, if we take a look at this, I th yeah, I think just being able to see the, the, the back side of the sandstone stairs here just barely puts the redstone lamps over the edge. Because this one you can't, and it also fits really nicely with the, the honey and stuff, and with the redstone lamps we got. So, I think we go with the redstone lamps instead of the beacons, but we will use these beacons in other places throughout the uh, throughout the the pyramid and such. Uh, plenty of opportunities to have it go through the roof and stuff in certain spots if we so desire. Uh, but I think the redstone lamps are going to take this one. So let's replace all this with redstone lamps. And we got to put these beacon, uh, the beacon cost in the ledger and see how many diamonds this pyramid is costing us so far. So the floor is now done and this is what it looks like right here with the redstone lamps. I can just fly on up to the top. Right up here, you can see what it's looking like from above. So, not too shabby, not too shabby. And I know some of you will probably be disappointed we didn't use the beacons, but don't worry. We will utilize the beacons elsewhere in the pyramid, uh, either for their effects or perhaps uh, just for lighting and aesthetics, uh, as we considered here. Uh, speaking of the beacons, since we did purchase these for the pyramid, we got to add these to the ledger, which I have done. And if we make our way down here, you can see our total investment is now at 1,602 diamonds. So we're now over 1,500 diamonds invested in the pyramid. See, there's our beacon uh, purchase right there. And yeah, some of the other purchases. I think the beacon purchase we just did was by far the biggest purchase we've had. Uh, I guess we did pay the boomers 200 some diamonds for the uh, exploding of the mountain. But other than that, beacons are far and away the biggest expense so far. But we got to pump up those numbers, guys. We got to pump up those numbers as it is our goal to make this pyramid the most expensive build on the server this season. So, with that, let's go ahead and put these beacons away, and we'll move on to something else. There are two other projects I want to get you guys up to speed on, which I've been working on recently, and those are projects which involve travel to and from the end dimension. So, if we come on down here, you guys might remember a while back, uh, oh man, I still have to move this stuff. Yeah, I gotta move this stuff as soon as possible, but yeah. Uh, you might remember a while back we made a ice boat road in the nether to a end portal. Um, so, if I come out this way, come down here. I'm gonna open up an inventory slot for a moment. Uh, press this button, get a boat, press this, and then go down this way. Uh, this leads, number one, to our skeleton farm right here. As you can see, it says Cup Skeleton Farm. And then we have, down here... A bit, whoop, well, that boat's gone. But yeah, we have a bit that goes to the end portal. Uh, now, real quickly here, I'm going to grab some stuff. Uh, I'm going to grab a dropper and a pressure plate. And you'll see we have a book called Scrub Sliders. Uh, that's because we actually are going to do something kind of funny here, I think. At least I think it's funny. But if we make our way through here, uh, this is a whole new area, which I have not showed on YouTube before, uh, but we have been working on this on Twitch at twitch.tv slash cupman135, so yeah, this area here, uh, this basically is the way to the end portal, so yeah, you can come here and just jump and then slide all the way down to the end portal here, just like so. I'm not going to go in right now though, um, and if you don't make it, 
Uh, basically, what's going to happen is you're going to land on this dropper, like so, with this pressure plate. There we go. And it's going to dispense a book called Scrub Sliders. And this says, I hereby certify that whomever possesses this book is a certified scrub when it comes to honey, box, honey block sliding. Get good. And that's it. So anybody who doesn't make the jump will uh, will get that book. So they have to, basically, if you're on a honey block, you can't jump up. See, I can't jump up here over this thing. So you have to step here. You get the book, and then you can jump in. But you know you got to get good. You got to get good. So that is one part of the entrance or our work on our entrance to the, uh, the end. And yeah, you can see, obviously, it takes us to the end. But we're also working on another avenue to the end, basically a scenic route to the end. So let me get you up to speed on that one as well. So the other route to the end is kind of a scenic end route, which we're making. And so if I make my way down this hole here, some of you might recall that there's actually a ice boat road down here made entirely of blue ice. So it's quite quick. Uh, and you'll see we have sort of templates for some various uh, sections of tunnel. And basically what we're doing with this whole tunnel here uh, which goes all the way from the shopping district down that way to the end dimension this way to the end portal down this way um, We're basically making a tunnel with Representations of the biome you're passing through on the sides. So whenever you switch biomes, it'll switch uh, Oh, I now realize as well that this should actually be sandstone here, but yeah <laughs> Basically whichever biome you're passing through you'll have a representation of it on the side of the tunnel um, so I can just show you this is the desert bit because uh, we're obviously in a desert right here uh, But if I make my way down here You'll see we actually have the ocean tunnel bit right here uh, And we have a couple different ones of these we have uh, the ocean one we have mushroom island And then if we make our way down the end direction, we'll see a few more so if we go past this Zoom on down here. We should relatively shortly Right here, it looks like. Once again, the boat runs away. Right here is the representation for the Badlands, for the Mesa uh, biome right here. Uh, and then, yeah, we have, you know, oak wood on top. Uh, and then if we keep going, we keep going down here, we'll see a few more. So let's just keep going. We will stop by our skeleton farm on the way down here as well. But this is just meant to be a fun way and a scenic way to get to the end. And also to our skeleton farm. As well, so here's our skeleton farm in case you guys have not seen that there's our portal And let's just keep going here. I think right here is actually the jungle bit Yeah, so the jungle bit has jungle leaves jungle wood jungle logs stuff like that and then all the way down here at the end We have the end section which is going to whiz by and then we have a little bit of a redstone contraption here as well So if we get in here Maybe yep, there we go and voila pops us into the end so there you go that is the entirety of the system there gonna be a fun system I think to uh, to build and we're still kind of working on it right now we will definitely have to make a uh, a way down to the ice boat road from the main pyramid from the big pyramid the great pyramid uh, but we have not done that quite yet but that's probably a upcoming project uh, I think I want to say if I go back through here I want to say that the ice boat road goes somewhere underneath, like, this portion here. Like, it goes right underneath the, the pyramid right here, out to the desert, t or out to the, uh, the end portal. So, yeah, we'll have to make some type of entrance down here, and then also a way probably back up, similar to what we did in the, uh, the regular pyramid. But just wanted to get you guys up to speed on that end stuff we've been doing as well, because, yeah, I've been doing that mostly on streams on Twitch. So, if you want to see that and the construction of those... Uh, yeah, twitch.tv slash cupfan135 for those things there. Uh, anyways, I think with that, guys, that will be it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode. If you did, please do leave a like. Be sure to subscribe. And I'm really liking the way this pyramid is turning out so far. Anyways, thank you once again for watching, guys. This has been Code. Goodbye.